Love it. Love it. Well, such is life. At least it still flies, right? <laughs> Count yourself lucky. Hey, everybody. Today, I want to show you guys uh, something that I'm very proud about. And basically, um, it's my first build. You've probably already seen the videos I've posted so far, but anyway, I just want to show you real quick the finished product. Um, got everything bolted down, taped up, and everything's looking as good as it's going to get for our first build. I'm pretty proud, and I just want to share that with you guys. So, here we go. So, first off, let's go ahead and throw this beauty on the scale, and we can kind of look at her and admire and appreciate and check out her weight looks like it's coming in at 651 that's with everything together so as you can see i've got um the strap that came with it but i felt like that was a little bit too flimsy um wasn't quite confident so i just added one extra that just goes all the way around uh, this one's like pretty heavy duty and so that does add a little extra weight but it makes me feel safer so that's good. Um, yeah, and that's the rest of it is the Axis Flying Manta, Axis Flying Manta frame, uh, Axis Flying eye stack. I've got the air unit, as you can see back here. And the air unit that I got also came with this camera, which is the Runcam Mipi. So, um, I saw some reviews about it. It looks like it's going to be pretty nice to fly in low light conditions. So I'm stoked about that. That's basically it. The rest of it you can check out in the description below. The beeper, the antennas, and the battery, and all of those little accessories. Oh, the only other thing you should know is I am flying Crossfire. So that's it, basically. And what I want to do is just sort of undress her a little bit so you guys can get a better look. And as you can see, my wiring is a little rough right around here. Um, and one thing I didn't like is the side plugs. Um, this one is for the beeper, and this one is for Crossfire. And so it looks kind of messy on top of my poor wiring there. Um, I did do a little bit better on this side, um, but yeah, I'm just going to say... Good for my first try. Uh, the only other thing I want to point out that may not be usual is this yellow bit down here. As you can see, um, I actually made that with some um, foam. I took, um, it's actually kind of like kids Play-Doh, but it's foam and you can mold it however you want. And then when it dries, it um, retains its shape and it's just, just like foam. And so I actually used that to mold a little base plate because I was worried uh, the ice stack is aluminum and I was worried that if there was any connection between that and the frame, that there might be a short or something like that. I didn't want to take any chances and I you know, came up with this simple solution. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like a soft mount on top of being um, a little bit of an insulator to keep any mishaps from occurring just in case, just in case. It weighs literally nothing, so I wasn't worried about putting it on there. It's very lightweight foam. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I guess the only other thing, this is her in all her glory all decked out, but uh, I might just show you guys a picture of her topless. <laughs> Check it out, guys, see ya. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that introduction, my, uh, my new beauty. Anyway, um, the only thing left to do is take her out and have that maiden flight. So I'm actually gonna do two, uh, two maiden flights. The first one is going to be um, a daytime flight, and then the second one is going to be a nighttime flight because I do wanna check out that uh, Runcam MePi camera as well. So. I'm going to do both of those. I'll probably combine those videos together. So uh, stay tuned and I'll check you guys out next time. See ya. Bye bye.